Hello students, in this video we will learn about magic squares. It's a very interesting topic. So first, let me get into the definition of a magic square. A square divided into smaller squares, each containing a number such that the figures in each vertical, horizontal and diagonal row add up to the same value. It means that a square is divided into smaller squares. Now I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This one square is divided into smaller squares. Now I will fill numbers here. A, B, C, D, E, F. So these I am not writing numbers now. I am just telling you. So if we fill numbers in this. When we add it horizontally like this or vertically like this or diagonally in this way or this way the sum of these values will be the same for example if these three values together give me 8 for example this is for example if these three numbers these are not numbers I have written variables I am just telling for an example if the sum of these three numbers is 8 then the sum of these three numbers like this will also be 8. The sum of these three numbers like this will also be 8. Sum of these three numbers will be 8. Anyway, if you add the numbers in the squares horizontally, vertically or diagonally, we will get the same number. This is the speciality of a magic square. So, how will we know that we have so many rows and so many columns? It depends on the order of a magic square. For example, if a square, if a magic square is of order 3, we will have 3 rows like this 1, 2, 3 and 3 columns. If the magic square is of order 4, we will have 4 rows and 4 columns. And each magic square of different orders will have different magic numbers so we will have to learn the magic numbers so in this syllabus we have magic square of order 3 order 4 and order 5 so we will learn it one by one here so first let's get into magic square of order 3 so the magic number of a magic square of order 3 is 15. So 15 is the magic number of magic square of order 3. So horizontally, vertically and diagonally when we add the numbers the sum should be 15. So to construct a magic square of order 3 there are various ways. We will discuss one such arrangement here. Now to start with, we will have to draw a square which has 3 rows and 3 columns. So, 3 rows and 3 columns means I can fill 9 numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 3 rows and 3 columns. 3 into 3, 9 numbers. So, I, I will fill numbers from 1 to 9 in such a way that I get my sum as 15 when I add the figures horizontally, vertically or diagonally. So, to start with, we have drawn a square. We have divided into 3 rows and 3 columns. So, the first step is to put the number 5 in the middle square. The square at the center will have number 5. The second step, we will fill the corner squares with even numbers. We will fill the corner squares with with even numbers so 2 4 6 8 remember we will fill numbers from 1 to 9 so the even numbers from 1 to 9 are 2 4 6 and 8 now we have 4 squares remaining so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 we filled 2, 4, 6, 8. Even numbers are gone. And in the center square we put 5. Now we have 1, 3, 7 and 9. 
so these are the four numbers remaining we have to fill in these squares in such a way we get 15 when we add now let us take this 4 plus 2 gives me 6 6 plus what gives me 15 so 6 plus 9 will give me 15 now 9 plus 4 13 13 plus 2 15 so when we add this horizontally we get 15 now look here we have one number to be filled here 9 plus 5 is 14 14 plus 1 is 15 so we filled 9 we filled 1 now the remaining two squares now 2 plus 6 is 8 8 plus what will give me 15 8 plus 7 will give me 15 now I have only one more number remaining which is 3 now 7 plus 5 is 12 12 plus 3 is 15 now if you check horizontally vertically or diagonally the sum of the numbers will be 15 let's check diagonally in this way 4 plus 5 9 9 plus 6 15 diagonally this way 2 plus 5 is 7 7 plus 8 is 15 so this is a magic square of order 3 now let's look into magic square of order 4 the magic number of a magic square of order 4 is 34 that means when we add the numbers horizontally vertically or diagonally the sum should be 34 so of order 4 square will have 4 rows and 4 columns that means you can fill numbers from 1 to 16 so I have a square divided into 4 rows and 4 columns so the first step here is to fill in numbers from 1 to 16 in an order so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 and 16 in the next step I will remove the numbers at the corners and in the middle so I remove the numbers at the corner so I remove the corner numbers and the numbers in the middle of the square so there are four squares in the middle I remove those numbers now without those numbers I write 2 3 5 9 I will not fill in these numbers 8 12 14 15 now what will happen to these numbers so what will happen to these numbers these numbers will get exchanged diagonally so 1 will go to the place of 16 and 16 will go to the place of 1 so it gets interchanged diagonally so 16 and 1 will change exchange their places 11 and 6 will exchange their places now coming to this diagonal 4 and 13 will exchange their places and 7 and 10 will exchange their places so instead of 1 I will have 16 in its place so 16 and 1 will come here and here instead of 6 I will have 11 so 11 and 6 exchange their places now 4 and 13 will exchange their places and 7 and 10 will exchange their places so here I will have 7 and here I will have 10 now if I add horizontally vertically or diagonally my sum will be 34 let's try 16 plus 11 is 27 27 plus 6 is 33 33 plus 1 is 34 so along this diagonal the sum is 34 now let me try this diagonal 13 plus 10 23 23 plus 7 is 30 30 plus 4 is 34 let me try at random in one of horizontal cases so I will try the second row 
5 plus 11 is 16, 16 plus 10 is 26, 26 plus 8 is 34. So, either ways, horizontally, vertically or diagonally, you add the sum will be 34. Now, let's look into magic square of order 5. So, magic square of order 5, the magic number is 65. That means, horizontally, vertically or diagonally, when we add the numbers in the squares, the sum should be 65. So, since it has 5 rows and 5 columns, the number of elements we can fill will be 25. That is from 1 to 25. So, I have a square which is divided into 5 rows and 5 columns. That means we have 5, 25 squares now to be filled. So, the first step here is to fill the middle square in the first row with the number 1. And then we will move in this direction when we move in this direction we do not have a cell there so when there is no cell to fill the value we will go to the extreme end of that particular column or row now here i don't have a cell now this column's extreme end is this square so i don't have a square here so i will move to the extreme end of the column or lo row in this case, it is a column. So, I will move to the extreme end. I will fill the next number 2. Again, I will move in this direction. Same direction. We will point to the right. The diagonally we will move. We will move diagonally. So, now I have a square here. So, I will fill in 3 here. Again, when I move diagonally, I don't have a square here. So, I will move to the extreme end. So, this is a row. So, the extreme end here is this square, 4. Now, I move diagonally. I have a cell here, 5. I move diagonally. I have a square, but it is already filled. So, in that case, I will write the particular value below the number. So, it is 5 here. I have a square here, but it is filled. I will write it below the number. So, two cases we have to remember. If there is no square, we will move to extreme end. If there is a square already filled with number. So, if it is a filled square, what we will do? We will write below the number. Below the number which we are in. Now we were with 5. So when the square was already filled we will write below the number 5. So two cases when there is no square like this. We didn't have a square here. We move to the extreme end. Now in this case we have a square but that square is already filled is the second case. In that case we will write the number 6 below the number. So 6 is written here. Next, I move diagonally, I have 7. I move diagonally, I will write 8. And here, I move diagonally, I don't have a square. So, when I don't have a square, I will move to the extreme end. So, this is a column. So, when I move to the extreme end, my 9 will come here. Now, again, I move here. So, I don't have a square here. So, I will move to the extreme end. This is a row. So, the extreme end of this row is this. So, 10. Now, I have a square which is filled. So, when I have a filled square, I will write below the number. So, 11. Next, I have 12. 13. 14. 15. Now, I don't have a square here to fill it and there is no row or no column here. So, I will write it below 16. Now, it should go here but I don't have a square here. So, I will move to the extreme end 17 and then I don't have a square here. I come down to the extreme end. 18. 19. 
20 so here I have a square but it is already filled so if it is already filled I will write below the number 21 22 here I don't have a square so I will move to the extreme end 23 24 so I don't have a square here so I will move to the extreme end this is 25 so I filled in numbers here now if I add row wise column wise or diagonally I will have my sum to be 65 so let me try with one row 11 plus 18 gives me 29 29 plus 25 gives me 54 54 plus 2 gives me 56 56 plus 9 gives me 65 which is the magic number now let me try one diagonally 17 plus 5 is 22 22 plus 13 is 35 35 plus is 56 56 plus 9 is 65 so anyways horizontally vertically or diagonally I add my numbers the number which i get the result which i get will be 65 so two things to remember here if i don't have a square to fill i will move to the extreme end if i have a square which is already filled then i will write it write the number below like this i didn't have a place to fill it i have a square but it is already filled so i will write below the number and 15 i don't have a column i don't have a row to move to the extreme end so in that case i will write the number below my number which is so 16 i had to fill somewhere here i didn't have column also row also here so i wrote it below 15 so this is how we will construct a magic square of order 5 so remember the magic numbers of magic square of order 3 4 and 5 thank you